Dang mosquitoes in here already. Well, the truck's set up and I got a beer, but we should probably get a fire going first because if you guys can't tell, the sun is about to go down. So I'm gonna grab my wood and we'll get after that first. And then we'll get into this. Well, fire's going. Fire's doing fire things. I'm gonna crack this guy open. So I picked up a, a Sam Adams variety pack, and this is winter lager. It's festive and smooth. Uh, no matter what or how you celebrate, the spiced holiday lager's rich mulch notes and accents of cinnamon, ginger, and orange peel are perfect for any festivity. Yeah, you can definitely taste the orange peel, the citrus in there. I don't know about the cinnamon and ginger. It's pretty dang good though. Uh, I'm gonna let this fire burn for a little bit. I'll probably throw about maybe two more logs on there. We'll try to get it to burn down a little bit and grill ourselves some dinner. The sun is just going down over the horizon over there. Suppose I could show you that. There we go. Got our fire here. And a pretty beautiful sunset. So I'm gonna sit back and relax. Watch that sunset, cause it's gorgeous. And uh, sip on my beer here. And we'll get some dinner going shortly, so. Should be a pretty tasty one tonight. Let's hope anyways, but for now, let's just relax. All right guys, camp's over here. I'm watching the sunset. And I heard something creeping up behind me. We've got another free range kitty back here. Come on camera, you can focus better than that. He's just chilling. He's watching me. I wonder if he's friendly. I think the only thing we could possibly do is first zoom this camera out so you don't have to see that much of my ugly mug. But let's go see if we can say hello to our free range kitty friend. Nope, he's already running away. Come here, bud. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, come, kitty, kitty, come, kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. 
nope, he doesn't want nothing to do with that. He's taking off. But I just won't pet you. Just give you some scratches, some scratches behind the ears. Nope. Well, he's headed back over yonder. <laughs> Alright y'all, grab another brewski out of there. So tonight we're going to do burgers. Uh, honestly, probably just one hamburger. I've got a couple of pre-made patties here. I've got some sharp cheddar cheese. I have some pre-cooked, if I can pick it up, I've got some pre-cooked bacon. We'll heat that up on the fire though. And some buns. And I've got some crispy jalapeno pieces. So I've never used these before, but right on here it says salads, burgers, and roasted taters. So we're going to put it on a burger. And I have some Hidden Belly Ranch secret sauce. So I don't know what this actually is, but it says restaurant inspired. It's probably a little bright. We'll give that a shot. And on top of the burgers, we're going to use this Slap Your Mama seasoning. Slap Your Mama. That's probably bright. But uh, this was sent in. And I have not used this yet, so we'll season the burgers with that. We'll crack open another beer here. It's another Sam Adams, and this one is called <laughs> Old Fezziwig. What does it say on here? The light's in the wrong place for me. I might have to change that quick, but... So like the character that inspired it, this spice tale is uh, warm, festive, and worthy of a celebration all its own. It's full body accomplished accompanies a deep malt character uh, with notes of sweet toffee and rich dark caramel. So we'll crack this open. Oh, and it looks like my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna have to uh, change the battery out anyways. But let's give this a taste. Uh, definitely spicy. It's good, like has a spiced flavor. But uh, let's get these burgers thrown on the grill here. <coughs> Ooh, the smoke's right in my face. I'll put a good amount of this on there. And more when we flip it. Um. All right, so I opened the bacon up. Uh, Smithfield fully cooked bacon, but we're gonna toss a few of these slices on the grill, just let them crisp up a bit, and I've got a piece of cheese to put on there too. Let that heat up a little bit. That's two pieces. It's all right. right in my face.
all the bacon. Grab ourselves a piece of cheese. So, we've got our burger here. The cheese is kind of melty. Uh, we are going to toss some of these crispy jalops on there. Bunch of bacon on top of that thing. Let's see what these taste like. Ooh, big chunks. A little bit of spice to them. On top of that, we will put some of this secret sauce. But along with this, we'll have some pickle chips. So I've been on a pickle chip like binge. I found these the other day. I've had the uh, Doritos had a pickle chip. And it was really good, and so I grabbed some of these, uh, and I've had these, they're pretty good. And I'm not like a pickle dude, like, I, don't, I couldn't just sit there and eat a pickle out of the jar. But, these, very tangy, very good. I might have to try some of the special sauce on this, but give this a go. That is good. That's really good. I only made one of these. I probably could have I could probably eat two of these. Slap your mom's seasoning, the bacon, the jalapenos, the cheese. Ooh. It's got quite a bit of bacon on it too. Well, we're gonna have to try the secret sauce on some of these pickle chips. Let's see what this is all about. Ow. It's a good sauce. It doesn't have a, like, it's not strong. Couldn't really say what it tastes like. That's why it's a secret. Cool and tangy, for sure. I'm trying to decide if I make the other one or not. It's really good. I really like the crunch that you get from the jalapeno bites. The, the crunchy jalapenos in it. This was like in the the salad section at High V, I believe. Yeah, uh, and they had like red peppers too, but crispy jalapenos, really good. I like that bit of crunch that's on there. That was good. That was really good. Well, y'all. Uh, that burger was amazing, uh, and the pickle chips. The pickle chips are good. The sauce is really good too. Uh, the seasoning was great. The slappy mommy seasoning. Uh, um, but I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make that other burger since I have two. We'll see if I can choke that thing down. But I'll see you guys when we get headed into the truck.
Whew, it's getting chilly out there. All right. Get that off. Need that anymore. Man, I don't have a stocking cap. Forgot a stocking cap tonight. That's a bummer. I guess, what's the temperature in here now? We're sitting right at 40 degrees. I think the low tonight is in the mid 30s. I'll have to take a look here in a second. But let's get this stuff off. Don't need this. Eww, I got burger sauce on my pants. Sweet. All right. Jammy pants on. A little bit of condensation on that thing. We're gonna get ourselves a movie going. Oh, this is already on. I was downloading something earlier. What do I got on this thing over yonder? So I'm gonna watch a new movie. It's a Netflix movie called Red Notice. Okay, so Red Notice, in a world of international crime, an Interpol agent attempts to hunt down and capture the world's most wanted art thief. And it's got Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, Ridu A. Area, and Chris Demonotopoulos. I'm <laughs> probably saying that wrong, but it's a Netflix movie, I believe. Uh, so, we're going to give this a watch. It's a new release. And I'm going to hang out, crack this beer open right here, give it a taste. What is it? A holiday porter. It's definitely darker than the last one, but it's not bad by any means, so that might make me sneeze. But, uh, oh, it's nice to get back in the truck. I didn't, uh, didn't camp at all last week after Colorado, but it's nice to be back in here. I might need to crack a window, but... Let's get this movie going. Turn our lights down here a little bit. Put this one on. These off. That's a bit more of a comfortable vibe, y'all. It's been a beautiful night. The fire just has a couple little flickers out there. And it's good to be in the rig. It's been a while. Well, y'all, that was actually a really good movie. Red Notice on Netflix, that was pretty good. Uh, and it looks like there's probably going to be a sequel to that. Um, but I think it's time for me to go to bed. I've got to get up and get out of here in the morning because I have a dentist appointment for a regular cleaning and checkup. It's actually gone up a little bit in here. It's about 44 degrees. I'm sure with my body heat it's warmed up a bit. I guess I didn't tell you guys what the low was going to be tonight, but I, I don't think it's too much lower than that. Uh, so tonight we've got a low of 39. That's not going to be terrible. Uh, I don't. I have my propane heater, but I'm not going to run that. I won't need that tonight with this heavy bag, but I'm going to go ahead and get crashed out, guys. And uh, I'll see you in the morning. See, it's all foggy. Or is that just this? Nope, that's the lens. Tight. Well, it's foggy in there in the camera. 
uh, 6.45. I had to set my alarm to get up. Because um, like I might have mentioned last night, I have a dentist appointment this morning. <sighs> so, I've got a little bit of driving to do. Get home. Get showered. And all that nonsense. And got nine cameras. Stop fogging up. And all of that. So, let me get my junk rounded up here. Oh, man. Boy, I bet it's going to be cold out there. Uh, current inside temperature is 46 degrees. It's not bad at all. We'll see what it is outside before I go jumping out. It's 41 degrees out, so that is not, not bad. Oh, the sun is just barely coming up over there. It looks cool. All right, I'm going to grab my coat and let's get out of here. It's a gorgeous sunrise over there. I had a beautiful sunset last night and now this gorgeous sunrise. Last night's dinner was good. The jalapeno bacon burgers were tasty. I'd recommend trying those like jalapeno bits if you can find them somewhere. Like I said, they're in the, uh, the salad aisle. But I've got to get home, get showered, get my teeth brushed, get my, my tooth brushed. As always, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.